Hello guys, welcome to English as a Second Language video tutorial. I'm your host Bakhtawa Durrani with some new more uh, phrasal verb today. Let's start. As we did the last lesson on get off, we received many emails and uh, many people they uh, really appreciated our video and I'd like to say thanks for all of, to all of them and but they also asked me one question about the video they wanted to know the opposite word of get off so in this video I'm gonna tell you what would be the opposite word uh, or uh, phrasal verb or expression for getting off from anything so as I've told you, as I've expounded you, that whenever you leave any vehicle or anything uh, that takes you from one place to another place, uh, at the time of leaving uh, that uh, thing, you say you are getting off the plane, as I told you in the, in the previous video, you are getting off the plane, motorbike and car or whatever, etc. Okay? So now, when you have to be into the car, when you have to go into the plane when you have to sit on the motorbike so in that situation you can use get on get on it's right opposite of get off when you say get up get off while uh, leaving uh, the vehicle so while I mean getting into the ve vehicle or going into the vehicle or start riding it or start driving it start traveling it would be um, uh, would be used as a get on okay so I'm going to give you some examples and then I hope uh, you will understand the meaning of get on properly and you'll be able to make it uh, on your own okay so the first example I can uh, or I have uh, to give you is about uh, similarly like I will get on the plane in next two hours okay means I will get on the plane in next two hours means I will be in the plane I will have got into the plane or I will be traveling in the plane or I will be in the plane myself after two hours means I will get on the plane means I will go inside the plane now the second example could be about motorbike I asked my friend to get on my bike okay I asked my friend to get on my bike means I told my friend or I uh, ordered my friend to sit on my bike I told him to sit with me on the bike or I tell him I commanded him to be on the bike on my motorbike means to sit on bike to have a ride on it now the third example is my family has got on the car means I'm telling you that my family has got on the car means they have gone in the car they have sat into the car or they are in the car now I hope that really helped you in understanding the meaning of um, get on and uh, so I hope now you will be able to make your own examples and uh, we'll meet in the next lesson tomorrow with some new first of up and take care of yourself till then and have a good day bye bye